guys, welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about the latest Disney movie and that is The Jungle Book, the live action remake. Personally, I am not a big fan of what Disney is doing with all of these live action remakes of all of my childhood classics, but I decided to give it a go and I have to say I was not disappointed. The story is pretty much the same one you know from the 1967 version of The Jungle Book. There's this boy named Mowgli who was raised by the wolves, but when the tiger Shere Khan is in the jungle and threatens to kill the boy, he has to leave to save his pack, to save himself, and has to make his way to the man village with the company of Baloo the Bear and Bagheera the Panther. It is a journey of self-discovery, of finding out what it means to be a man, what it means to be part of a pack, and meeting a lot of interesting animals along the way that might have his best interests at heart, or maybe not. As a kid, I was a big fan of the original movie. Now as an adult, I realize it's not the strongest story or even one of Disney's best. But I like the fact that it was in the jungle. I like the fact that every animal sort of represents something. It's a metaphor for something else. And even though Mowgli has a lot of annoying traits, I like that he was brave enough to face what everybody thought he wasn't able to face. The story is basically the same. There's just a few additions of things that I think make the story richer, the movie more entertaining, and better characters all in all. For example, in this movie they focus a lot on Mowgli's talents in comparison to the animals. He can build things, he's very tenacious, there's many things that he has to kind of construct in order to survive in the jungle. But his wolf pack doesn't necessarily agree, they don't think it's the wolf way, they don't think it's the way of the jungle because they're trying to suppress the man side in him and just basically make him into a wolf. So Mowgli is constantly struggling between what becomes natural for him and what he has learned from the animals he has grown up with. And I think that brings a lot of layers to a character that used to be just basically a brat. Another change I really liked is in the character of Shere Khan. Shere Khan was probably my favorite character in the original, and I have to say this time, voiced by Idris Elba, that has not changed either. I like it because they represent him as this sort of wearied, uh, damaged tiger. He has some scars on his face. You can tell that he has been mistreated in many ways. And of course, as you might have guessed, it's because of mankind. So I like that there is background to his theme of revenge, that it's not just out of nowhere. He's not just a plain bad guy. Don't get me wrong, he's still completely detestable, but there are layers to him as well. You can understand where the fear comes from, and it's quite logical as well. Leaving a man in the jungle will eventually mean everybody will be in danger, and Mowgli, as nice as he is right now, he will become a man, and he will learn the man ways, and so that's kind of what he's trying to avoid, that he's trying to avoid the destruction of the habitat that he knows. I love that the wolves are more prominent in this than the original. They're some of my favorite animals in the movie. I, I love the feeling of loyalty and family that they show throughout the movie. They're that symbol of unity that you can't find in any of the other animals. But I think the two most important ones are, of course, Bagheera and Baloo, boys by Bill Murray and Ben Kingsley. Great jobs, both of them. I couldn't have expected any less, of course. They have very much the same dynamic from the original. Bagheera is the wise one, whereas Baloo is sort of like very laid back, and that kind of rubs off on Mowgli. And it's nice to see a growth in both characters, especially in Baloo, because he starts off being this guy who just wants to eat honey, he just wants to chill, and then realize some things are way more important than just what you need in life. And he stops being selfish, he stops caring about everybody else, and Mowgli kind of goes through all those faces as well. In terms of what the movie looks like, I think no one can disagree that it's absolutely beautiful. Nothing is shot on location, everything is in a studio, everything is CGI, but it feels so real and they capture the jungle in such an accurate way. Same goes for the animals, they were wonderfully made. I feel like they were as realistic as you want talking animals to be because sometimes it can be a little bit cartoonish the way that they are represented, but that wasn't the case in this. However, there is something about them and I'm totally being being nitpicky here that didn't feel as authentic as I wanted it to be. In terms of aesthetics, they look great. It's more about certain movements here and there. Sometimes when Bagheera moved or he jumped from a rock to another, there was something about it that felt very computerized. It just didn't feel as natural for me. I could be totally wrong. That's just the perception I had over a few things. And in that same line, because it's supposed to be live action, there's a lot of moments that I was expecting more action between the animals in certain fights and in certain moments. So I was really pumped for that. I'm expecting a fight with a bear and some other animal and maybe even Bagheera and Shere Khan which would be great and yeah 
yes, you get all of that, but for me, it wasn't as much as I wanted it to be. If they could have prolonged it a little more and shown it a little more clearly, I would have loved that. I find it really hard to find something to complain about this movie, and trust me, I tried looking for it. I think The Jungle Book is a great example of how you should transcend an old classic into a live-action remake. They're loyal to the story, there's many familiar things that they bring back to this, but it's not exactly the same, and they're not subtracting, they're just adding things that make what would be a simple story a lot more complex and a lot richer. That being said, there's just some things that don't feel right and I can't exactly pinpoint it for you, but if you've seen other John Favreau movies, you know that everything is like very neat and slick and it just feels like too perfect almost and that could be a turnoff and I don't know why he's done everything right but I guess it could make the movie a little bit forgettable, like it doesn't leave a long-lasting impression on you, and at least that's how it felt for me. I enjoyed it thoroughly, it was really fun, I think they added great elements and great arches to different characters that they weren't in the first movie, and it's a great adventure for kids and grown-ups alike. So guys, if I had to rate The Jungle Book, I would tell you that it's definitely worth watching in theaters. I'm not necessarily sure this is a movie I would like to add to my Blu-ray collection of Disney movies, but they did a really good job. If they could continue this style and this loyalty to the original movies in the upcoming live action movies, I would not have a problem with them. I think they handle it very well. I think they keep it as true as they can while adding some lovely elements and mixing it up just a little bit. But guys, that's just my opinion. Tell me what did you think about the new Jungle Book movie? If you haven't seen it, I would love to know what live action movie from Disney are you looking forward to? Do you like what they're doing? Do you not like it at all? Let me know in the comments section down below. Also, don't forget, if you like this type of videos, you can always subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, top five lists, and other shenanigans related to movies. But guys, that's everything for this time around. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a like if you really liked it. Share it with somebody else. And I will see you on our next movie date. Bye!